Golurk is finally back in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC, the Indigo Disc. While it didn't get any huge buffs, it does now learn Knock Off, amazing for getting rid of items. But that's usually bad to run on Golurk, because with Golurk, you want to click those Choice Band, No Guard, Poltergeist, not fearing them to miss, and Poltergeist only works if the opponent has an item. So that's exactly what we'll be doing today with Choice Band Golurk. Between Poltergeist and Earthquake, this Pokemon is incredibly hard to switch into. Let's see how it does. Pretty hyped for this first game, got this team from CTC, it'll be on my website, Pokemon.com. We have Ice Punch on Choice Band Golurk too, and they have Landorus plus Gliscor. I'm loving it. Joxus seems to be the lead of choice on this squad. Have not used it yet, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Surprise, we do see a Dark Rye lead from them. They may end up going for Dark Pulse here. Uh, I do have the Lumberry on Samurai. I think I'm just going to make that play, just in case they go right for the uh, Dark Pulse itself. That looks Life Orb. Actually looks very strong. 20% is crazy. Throw off a Cecil Sedge here. Yep, got the nice little Lumberry on deck, waiting for Dark Rye. Get up my Spike, which it looks like they can't get rid of. And in terms of how I want to deal with this, because I did get a nasty crit there. I'll go for a Razor Shell. This is most likely lead with uh, Dark Pulse, Ice Beam, etc. So they can't really touch me. So I actually should go for Sacred Sword because if I wake up here, I pick up a KO, exactly. And we break through. So there you go, Hypnosis Dark Ride, putting in a ton of work. Now, if you guys do enjoy the content, please let me know by leaving a like and consider subscribing to the channel as I am on my way to half a million subscribers. And I'm gonna get there whether you sub or not. But if you wanna be part of that journey, of course, consider subscribing. Now. In terms of how I want to beat this Mon, I do think my King Gambit with Terra Dark crushes their team, but I might as well bring out my Choice Band Golurk. I will not die to Giga Drain, and I will definitely do a billion percent with this Choice Band Poltergeist. Obviously, Lander is coming in a little whack, but I'm sure it takes... Yeah, I'm about to say, I'm sure it takes a lot. Now, this team by CTC does not have a ground immunity. However, it doesn't need it. It's just HO. So I'll go right out to the Deoxys on the Earthquake as I, as I tank that Grass Knot. And we're going to throw off a Psycho Boost, getting rid of the Intimidator on their team. Perfect. And I do threaten them with potential um, with potential like superpower if they want to go King Gambit. Obviously, I don't have it, but they don't know that. So we'll get up a Rocks here as well. And then we'll even get rid of this guy's item. Now, if I get rid of this guy's item, I actually have to be careful around it. I'm surprised they went Heatran because look how good Volcarona is. Then again, this Mon's very good into me. <laughs> Let's just go for Knock. Get as much damage as possible off on them as a Lava Plume to knock me out. And then I can go Val and Bluff, but this is a really cool Val set, by the way. Hypnosis, <laughs> Hex, no Encore, no setup. I like it though. Very fun. Bring out my Golurk here. Do I predict them to go Gliscor and then Ice Punch and then lose to, and then lose? Huh. I kind of want to give them a choice, man. I feel like Earthquake is very obvious. I'm gonna give them a They're probably just gonna stay in, but I, I feel like this Mon is good into Volcarona, so why would you throw it away? I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for a trick. I give him a choice band, but I'm faster. If I don't get burnt here, this was like high key better. This is actually high key better. Now I can switch a moose. Yeah, this is definitely high key better in that case. I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I couldn't hit that thing with my Volcarona anyway, though I guess technically I could set up on it as long as it wasn't taunt. But assuming they bring out Gliscor, I can ice punch for a good chunk of damage. I can also steal their toxic orb. Should I do that? That's pretty fun. I, I kind of want to do that. I'm, I think, most worried about Volcarona, but I do have good options into that. Oh, they got boots on this bad boy? Hmm. Whatever. I'm clicking Earthquake again. Yeah. Don't underestimate how annoying this Mon is, fam. So we can go Val and just go for the Moonblast. And if they bring out their Volcarona, I have two chances to land Hypnosis. Ooh. And we can just go for a, a Hex and see how much it does. Oh, nice little crit. That's actually amazing. That crit was actually amazing because now I can just go for it again. Yo. Look at me. Them, them using Dark Rock. I'm using Val. The two people that are making sleep, you know, subject to potentially being banned. What are you guys' thoughts on that, by the way? Let me know down below. We're going to get another game. Shout out to Golurk putting in some work right here. We'll be right back. We have a pretty nasty matchup here. My Iron Valiant is really good, though. I, I kind of wish I had Combine, but I really think this Hypnosis Hex set is really cool, too. But I think that Combine Shadow Ball could obviously have swept my opponent here. Uh, Terra Dark King Gamma with Black Glasses is okay. I think more so my Volcarona goes crazy. And I'm loving my Deoxys, just the fast knock and everything. This, I mean, uh, this could be Scarf, which I don't really have switch-ins for on this team. I don't want King Gambit's black glasses going down. I'll go for Rock. Let's find out. This scarf is cool. 
I immediately get to get up hazards in front of them. So that's not a big deal. That's like your trade worth. Like rocks are not as great in this game unless it's Kiram, of course, with specs. But getting up all these hazards with Cecil Sedge is going to go a long way for King Gambit. But more importantly, Volcarona sweeping. This will not be able to revenge kill Volcarona. I think I think they do lose to Volcarona, assuming they're not the Thunder Wave on Rotom, which we can scout by simply staying in with our Lumberry Samurai. Uh, Golurk's roll in this game. Ooh, nasty switch from the opponent, fam. You really wait, yo, you're wild. They just gave me their whole Moltres, and they didn't even. <laughs> They just gave me that whole Moltres. I think I just quiver dance up with Volcarona and win now. What do they do? What do they actually do? I'm trying to think if this money's even worth. No, it's not. Let him freeze dry me and. What just happened? I literally think I just quiver. I'm, I'm actually trying to think, like, how do they beat this? I'm faster than Drill. Azamazenta definitely doesn't beat me. Well, it could be uh, Terra Fire. If it's Stone Edge, it's annoying. Hmm. I'll be back. I'm going Gold Lurk. Just know I'll be back. Just know I will be back. And I'm tricking you a Choice Band. That way you take... I'm actually trying to trick Rotom a Choice Band. So that way it locks itself into maybe Hydro Pump or, or Wisp or anything. Basically, any of these mons getting a Choice Band is okay. I love this utility, by the way. I also love it on, like, Trick Clutch sets. So, we're going to get some damage on Rotom here, aka 0%. This is not going to KO me, so I'm just going to Quiver up. I'm going to Quiver twice, and then go for game. Oh yeah, we are definitely Quiver Dancing up twice. I think of this Morning Sun going too. Plus, if they miss a Hydro Pump, it's definitely over. Yeah, it's super over now. I mean, what do you do? What do you even do? Hmm. I'm a Terra, just because I don't want to get crit this turn. And I'm going to just start throwing off some fiery dances. Because at this point, if they ever switch in on this Pokemon, they lose. My opponent might just forfeit. Yeah, if they if they switch in on this Mon, they just straight up lose. Give me that fiery dance. There we go. Kiram comes out. No freaking way. Get out of there. I'm sorry. This is a this is a where are my boosts, by the way? Fakest move in the world, bro. Where get another not boost. Okay, thank you. I'm about to say, like, yeah, this is just a Volcarona Onage. And look at that. Golurk locking Rotom into this. Could not Volt Switch. They got scared. I think they should have went hard Zamazenta. The same way they did before. Um, just because it was at full HP, so it would have lived a hit. But their mistake, we took advantage. This has to be the scariest matchup I've ever seen. Like they even have a Mandibuzz to wall most of my team. I do think King Gambit is pretty good here, especially because it comes in for free on you. But I do not have a means of hitting Clef. Oof. Val might have to just hit these Hypnosis too. I really don't have a great lead into Samurai either. Like, this team does not have good leads into that. Oof. They're going to defog anyway at the end of the day, which is interesting. Okay, they end up leading off a Crown. Great. I can click Knock Off immediately. I'm thinking this might be Specs lead Crown just based on the cool nature of this team like i would think what's the coolest set they could run in an iron crown lead it would be choice specs right heavy duty boots Ooh, tachyon cutter just volt switch all right i mean we get a lot of damage off on iron crown uh so even if that thing terrors it's good uh Cofable comes out the flame orb <laughs> stop that stop that as they go for wish i guess we'll get up rocks here so they're obviously switcheroo by the way, like this is very obviously switcheroo, but uh, I don't think they're definitely not unaware, which means that Volcarona has a field day. Okay, gotta be a little bit careful around this. They also give me the boosted hex, which is very funny. I think they're going to try and trick me, but if they do, I'm in a good spot. So I'm going for Poltergeist here. I, I would rather them trick me a Flame Orb. And then I use, and I bit later give that to something else, and then mess them up with it. Or they go Mandibuzz and try and defog. That's fine too. Because I feel like it's the exact same situation where I always get in Samurai anyway. Please do decent damage, considering Poltergeist did 27. Get some defense drops too, 36. Yes, into instant defense drop is crazy. What was it? Knockoff, Iron Defense, Foul Play, Roost? Or is it no defog? It might be no defog. Hold up, if it's no defog, we're getting them up.
Let's find out. I think it's it's no default. Nice. All right, well, we get up every layer. Uh, obviously, everything on that team is going to be boots. So it doesn't really matter. They could knock. Is it bad to waste my booster? I feel like it is because I'm very weak to gouging fire. Hmm. But I'm assuming they'd be a more defensive set. I'm going to keep you because you're good. Yeah, we'll go Val. I don't want to go out into Volk and have them burn me. So I'd rather do this and then just click the... Uh, obviously, I, I, cl I click Psyshock here, right? On Petrarunt. Even though it's going to do nothing. <laughs> even though it does absolutely nothing, right? Uh, we at least can bring out King Gambit. On this Mon, not really having to worry. As they parting shot... Oh, I love this team. Wait, I'm defiant. Oh my god, CTC! <laughs> He thought of everything. This is definitely a mistake, by the way, in CTC's part. But he thought of everything. How does he do it, folks? I don't even know. I don't. You can't even roost on me, bro. You roost, you lose. That's what I thought. Bro, he thought of everything. How does he do it, folks? I don't even know. It's time to go night-night. Something going night-night. Something is going night-night. Actually, considering Petron's most likely coming in... I can Moonblast once. Because it has to heal, right? I don't think Hex kills. Let's see if I can go for Hypnosis. I unfortunately missed there. We're going to go King Gambit. Because, because CTC thought of everything. Flame Orb definitely coming out. I would rather Samurai take the Flame Orb. Oh, okay. I mean, that works too. I guess. I don't I don't know what your set is. I need damage on you. I'm assuming you're just defensive. Oh, you are a DD, sir. I'll raise a shell again. Oof! Switch. I mean, actually stay in. Just give me this Mon. I don't want to deal with this Mon. Please just give me this Mon. Why is Lumberry Samurai... There's no way they Terra'd with the minus defense drop. Come on, fam. You can't do that. <laughs> Bro, you can't do that. Shout out to Razor Shell as well, just being the absolute GOAT. Absolute GOAT. Okay, so they wasted their Terra, which I will be very... Uh, I will try my best to remember because I, I'm not good at remembering. Um, Volcarona Runner wins for sure. Because they don't have a Terra. So. I'm going to go for Hypnosis here. Ooh, okay, Mr. Clefable. Flame Orb is definitely being tricked. That's okay. That's definitely okay. I can't put Poltergeist guys here. I just click Earthquake. Future Sight. I might just Terra in front of Samurott to KO it. And I think I, I definitely will. This mon's annoying. It's actually the only thing stopping Volcarona as well, so I definitely just want to pick up that KO on, on Samra. Obviously, the Future Sight comes out this turn, but I have a very free King Gambit that can come in on that. Shout out to Choice Band Goal Alert. Yeah, we'll go King Gambit on the Future Sight. And we get in you. Ooh, who wants this choice ban, by the way? I'll take the flame orb. I don't give a damn. Because I'll give it to somebody else. Alright, that should be good, I think. Because I just fiery dance on Petrarun, right? And they have to go for their toxic move here. Yep, yep. I always kowtow. Always, always, always. And they can't even they can't even parting shot around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't even tear. They lost. I literally quiver dance up and win. Yep. I I I, patch, I did that again because they have to pray I go Volcarona there. Or um or anything and try and win from there. But that yeah, that tarot was not working out for them. Ooh, and big Golurk put in so much work. The disruptor. Golurk the disruptor. That's what they call him. That's my goat. Let's get into the game.
So we haven't really found a game where Golurk was able to kind of just click Poltergeist a lot. And this is, I mean, this is an Earthquake, Ice Punch type of game. But the trick is really, really cool. And its natural typing has been really good too. I have no idea about this team. I'm going to lead off with Deoxys. This is the fastest member on this damn team. And I'm going for knockoff here. Uh, that's, that's what, I, like, it just lets me live one hit. It's AV, so I will live one hit anyway. Perfect. Flip turn. I don't know if it has Jet. So I'm getting up rocks. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm thinking about. Like, how do I want to win this game? And I think doing so, doing that helps me out. So, we'll bring out Choice Band Golurk. I refuse to believe an AV set is faster than me. I really refuse to believe an AV set. I would rather them go out into their Glide score here than... Because the way I win this game, actually, I think is with SD King Gambit. I'm Terra Dark. We can bring out Samurai. We get up all these hazards as they go for Toxic. As you see, we do avoid that. And go for a nice little Cecil set. Just Mon's a Demon. I do want my spike up. I do need my spike up, actually. And I have Sacred Sword as well at the end of the day, so. Hmm. Body press. Am I getting a little bit... No, because King Gambit does win. King Gambit literally wins with SD. So this is the only mon I really got to break through, I feel. So we're going to go for Sacred Sword here. Do a billion percent. I wish I hit the first one. As they Dragon Tail me out into Go Lurkingtons. Hit him with Ice Punch, hopefully KO. I mean, I'm Choice Band, I should do 11. Yeah, so, pick up that KO there. Annoying Mon gone. Knockoff is very free from the opponent. They are Boots as well. Samurott, roll. It's fine, because if they knock, I can at least get an Aqua Jet off. I get some Chip. Yeah. So, we get some Aqua Jet Chip, perfect, for the Gambito. I think it's an Iron Valiant, Iron Valiant angle now, because it's free Moon Blast. Primarina should easily be two at KO. No AV, buddy. There's one, and there's two. Perfect for Volcarona Endgame as well. Hmm. A Moon Blast. They're obviously going to... They did not protect. I'm very surprised. Their team is very weak to this Pokemon. I'm very surprised they did not protect. I'm actually insanely... I'm very surprised. Yeah. What are you doing? Wait. Goodbye, Masquerado. You deserve a good rest. They're trying to win the game with Solo Iron Crown, but they're... They're, they're playing it like it's... Like it's King Gambit. Like it's going to get some boosts. Put that boy to sleep real quick. I wonder if this works. Hey, this is a trick. Not bounceable. Surely this works. Just making sure. All right, so they're locked into one move. I have probably, I have an immunity to fighting. I have a psychic immunity and I have a Volcarona. Needless to say, we're looking very good right now on this side. <laughs> yep, they forfeited. I don't know if you told that because I flipped the pages, but they did forfeit right there. So yeah, that was really interesting. Their uh, their game plan. I I'm I think they definitely should have just went out into Crown and tried their best on. I mean, I was ready to. I already committed to Hypnosis, right? Because if they went Crown, they would have to boost twice in order to outspeed me. So I got the first Hypnosis, and then I got the second one. Then I still got that whole combination. But instead, they played it like a King Gambit and. You know, sacked everything, but I don't know. We'll get into the game. When I see the Iraq when it uh, lead, I already know I'm getting messed up in this game. I already know I'm getting messed up in this game. I'll lead Deoxys and see what I could do. Hopefully you're not Scarf, buddy. Don't be Scarf. Just you turn if you are. And don't don't bring me down to my thing. Oh no, it is Scarf and it is Scarf. Bro, I think this needs to be Sash lead. I think this needs to be Focus Sash. I think this has happened way too much to me. And I don't have a good lead into Meow. Or this. This demon. Alright. As good as you are in this game, I need to throw you away. Uh, that's it. Sash. That, 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 see, that's a good lead. I would have KO'd them. But obviously, again, they were Sashed. But I'm actually looking ins insane right now with Volcarona. So, Golurk just did it for me. Volk actually looks demon-like. If I was Terra Ground, it might be over. Like, immediately. Get a boost! Nice. Nice job, nice job, nice job. I'm also very bulky, so if they go meow, I can quiver up twice. If they could cure him, I'm in a decent spot, I, I think. What are you gonna do? Go Zapdos and, and pray? If they go meow. If it's U turn, flower trick, knock. Hmm. I'll go Samurai. I'm not sure why this thing came in. 
It just came in to click knockoff. Alright, that wouldn't have won, but whatever. Get up a spike here. It's gonna help the Val endgame. Oof, nice little static. Let's see if they have Volt Switch on this team. I feel like they don't. Okay, so, few options to win this game right now. I think the best one is to go Val and aim for Hypnosis. I'm so serious. I think that is the best case. Because in order to win this game, I need to set up with Volcarona, which it can do in front of Iron Valiant. Even if they Encore me, I set up in front of it. So, and they only had knockoff as well. The other option is, yes, going to this mode and clicking Tao Tao is in the play. I think legitimately that's my play. I'm so serious. Hypnosis into Moonblast, Moonblast. Nice. Now don't wake up because your whole team gets cooked by this mod. So do not wake up. Wake up. Oh, immediate wake up into discharge, into para. Watch. No para. Worth it then. This was super worth. This is super worth. All right. So, and also we know that that would do 22 if they Terra Steel and they were at 20 because it does half. So perfect. Masquerada comes out. They flower trip. Quiver up. Right here. Unless their head smash on Great Tusk, I'm good. Val comes out to so will encore me. That's okay. They Destiny bonded. It would have to be Destiny bond plus encore, and I'm I'm willing to risk it. Like I don't have another play, right? Yeah, it's Shadow Ball. Okay, cool. So that should be game, because I am a Volcarona, and the only mon that stopped Volcarona on their entire team was a Raquanid. Attack booster. Well, would it be attack booster Terra Water is the question? F it. Like, I'll risk it. Let's go. I get all these boosts. Like, whatever. I don't think any mod on that team has a has a, has a Terra for Volcarona. I don't think any mod on that team has a Terra for Volcarona. Let's get another game. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm fighting like the meanest looking trick room in the world. And they got a defogger on this. That's cool. We'll leave Deoxys. We get a nice little cycle boost off on something or a knockoff. Life Orb actually might have been better, but I guess... Yeah, I, I, I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay in this case. They have, yeah, I, I don't know how I'm going to beat this mod. This mod is actually insane into me. And I don't have really a Terra on Gambit to, like, avoid. I think I lose to Glass Gray. However, Volcarona, as always, looks absolutely insane. What am I saying? That's a, that's a Glass Gray counter. Get on my rocks here. Then play around a little bit. If they want a U-turn, that's fine, too. Uh, I just want to start chipping at Skarmory Sturdy. Knock is smart. Might as well get a Cycle Boost off. I can knock on Golurk. Uh, I don't actually want to knock on Golurk, right? Or, excuse me, Slow King. Because I want to I want to Golurk them. Yeah, I want to Golurk them. So, hmm. Surely that's Choice Ban. Right? I'm going to go Samu. And double to Golurk. And if I get Grassy Glided here, yeah, I didn't think I would. I'm tricking. Giving this thing a choice ban means it can't like mess me up. Let them get a spikes, that's fine. Go for Poltergeist. I can actually take the choice ban back as well later, which is funny. So I think I will. Yeah, I think I definitely will take that choice ban back. Though the helmet might even help me with gouging fire. Give me that damn item back. <laughs> yeah, give me that. <laughs> Give me that crap back. I need to hit hard. All right, so one of the two answers to King Gambit Terra Dark are gone, basically. It's gone. Uh, ideally, they try and go wheezing here on this poltergeist, like a demon. That'd be insane. Yo, go wheezing. Because you will... Yes! Okay, so they go wheezing, which is definitely... I mean, they have neutralizing gas. Oh, and it's on a balloon as well. Yeah, I was about to say, they have neutralizing gas. I can miss. <laughs> I can miss. I think it's so worth weakening though, because look how good Samurai is with all these hazards up. It doesn't matter if I hit the first one because I I, I wouldn't be able to hit the second one basically because of their um a, no item, so I'm okay. Like it happens, basically. Now, Samurai looks really strong, so that's why I'm throwing it away to get up Spike. I don't want them toxicing on Volcarona, so I'd rather go you. On Pain Split, that's fine. Get up a spike. We're trying to kill Rillaboom. Ideally, I live one strange theme as well. I don't know if I do. Okay, that's fine. We just fire dance here. Are they toxic last? Let me quiver. 
Oh my god, I, of course the one game I'm gonna lose to is <laughs> the 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 glass tray end game. If I had bug buzz, I'd go for it. Yep, there's a skarmory sack, perfect. I didn't I don't have a I don't have iron head on this guy. I guess I could have went back to Golurk and clicked Toxic. Or clicked Earthquake rather. But Gouging Fire maybe comes out. Do I tear on that is the thing? Cause I think I'm gonna lose. I'm pretty sure I lose to glass. I'm like I'm trying to see games. I'm trying to see an endgame where I don't lose to the glass. But I feel like I lose to the glass. I definitely Terra Dragon. Terra Blast. It does manage to KO Gouging Fire, so that's really good. That's really, really, really good. And I still resist Rillaboom's attack. Albeit not like four times, but still. Earthquake is still very strong too, but they have the glass, man. The glass is going to mess me up. Oh, and I'm weak to... Maybe that wasn't even the play, but I, I couldn't see a situation. If they Dragon Instant, I'm pretty sure I lost to that too, right? Like, everything looked bad. <laughs> everything looks bad right now. Everything. Depending on what happens here with Glass, though. I'm hoping they fear Bug Buzz. I guess technically, SD Gambit still goes stupid. Like, actually. Because they would try and Trick Room... No, no, this could, this doesn't have, have, have to be Trick Room. It's Chill Reception, right? So that's enough for Glass. I think Glass is so underrated. Both here and I think in Draft, it's going to go crazy too. I'll pause it so they make a move bear back. They make probably the play I like the most of going hard into Glass GA. I'm just fire dancing. Yeah, you can tear a water all you want, but I... <laughs> I'm pretty sure Val wins the game. Plus Gambit. But I think it's better to go... I take... Yeah, I take enough. Mm. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. They already teared. I can clip Poltergeist here too, but I'm clicking Choice Ban Earthquake. And I pray it kills. I pray it kills. Oh, perfect. Because I, did, I didn't want them going Weezing, exactly, which is why I went for Earthquake. So we actually get rid of Weezing here. I'm okay, so that should be an end game of King Game. King Game, it should just win. The second it comes out, it wins. The second it comes out, it wins. Unless this was not choice. But basically, I just kowtow, kowtow, kowtow. I have the, uh, I have the Dread Plate. I am not defiant anymore, even though he thought of everything. CDC really thought of everything, man. He thought of everything. They can't even chill into a glass. I'm glad they went glass first. So they obviously thought I had bug buzz. Um, I still think if you thought I had bug buzz, you would tear a water with slow king to avoid it. And then I guess that doesn't work if they don't have trick room, which I'm assuming they had trick room. I am assuming they had Trick Room. I'm pretty sure I just stay in here on glassy, uh, Grassy Glide. And then just win the game. I, re I really think I, I'm... It should be Choice Ban. If it's not Choice Ban, then they played it... They played it crazily. They got me. They quite literally got me. But I'm pretty positive you're Choice Ban, bro. Again, if I get hit by this... Oh, I mean, they went hard into that for some reason. How does that even win them the game? I don't even know how that went in the game. I mean, it's over. Unless you're counter. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, it's over. All right, that was a good one. I like, I really like this game. So, I mean, you saw exactly what Golurk did throughout the entire live. I'm going to end it on this. I, th I think we had a pretty blessed live. Uh, it would either s got rid of a threat for Volcarona, and, like Iraq when it did in the last game, or it got rid of a threat for King Gamba end game here like both the Skarmory and the Weezing. So I think it was actually a pretty successful Golurk Live when it comes to OU. We weren't necessarily like powering through Pokemon with our Terra, well, we didn't go Terra Ghost. I love Terra Ghost Poltergeist, by the way. If I use Golurk again in lower tiers, I will be using Terra Ghost Poltergeist. I think Terra Fairy is really good though. Obviously the, um, the resistance to dark and also the neutrality to ghost, two very common types in the OU tier. Uh, what did we learn about the Oxus? I think it should be focused ass on this team because I ran into every single Scarf... I guess there's just an influx of Scarf Mail Scarab. I don't play a lot of OU besides what I record or if I'm just chilling and calling my boys. And I'm mainly just watching and, you know, suggesting bad plays. So that way, if my friend gets messed up, I'll be like, yo, you're terrible. Because, you know, we, we, we gaslight in Pokemon over here. Our friends. Only our friends. In call. That's, that's it. But... Yeah, I, I love Golurk. I'm a big fan of Golurk. I'm glad it's back. The Iron Giant is a fantastic movie. 
that was ahead of its time. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, sub. Like I said, I am on my way to half a million. I'm hitting half a million this year. Whether you like it or not, I'm hitting half a million this year. So if you want to be part of that, you'd be crazy, by the way, if you're watching this all the way to this part and not being sub to me because you're a trooper. I hope y'all enjoyed. Peace.